Like, and my next guest is a longtime bull on the home builder trade, owning names like NVR, Lennar, and Horton for nearly a decade. Bill Smead is here. He's the chief investment officer at Smead Capital Management. And this was a coincidence, Bill. It couldn't have worked out better for you. Welcome. Uh, thanks for having me. So, you know, I mean, we've dwelt on this a lot, but what's funny is back, you know, nine months ago when you were pounding the table for the builders, no one wanted to hear it. Now they all want in because the stocks have done so well. Would you, would you have them proceed with a little caution? Oh, of course. Uh, you know, our belief is that the, the, the economy is going to be better than expected. No one ever mentions, and, and by the way, Diane's reports are fantastic, but there are 40.5% more people 25 to 40 right now than there was 10 years ago. So you've got 40.5% more humans that might want to buy a house out of necessity. And by the way, that's the key word in, in what's going on in the economy it is necessity. Because we lived for 09 to 19 in a world of discretionary spending. And necessities like homes and cars were not a big subject because the largest adult population group hadn't been kicked into gear. But they've been kicked into gear now, and they need a home. And you behave dramatically different when, when you need a home yes. than when you just want a home. And, and that's the, you know, more marriages last year and this year. So that's the first thing. The second thing, and, and Diana hit on this, it's great. The spread between the 10-year the Treasury interest rate and the mortgage rate has been hanging around 25 to 3% uh, for a number of months. And the historical relationship is more like 160 basis points. And the reason that there's that relationship is a pool of 30-year fixed rate mortgages in a Ginnie Mae pool, for example, have an average life of 11 years. And Rick will back me up on that. So what that means is people have been being charged an artificially high rate as the Fed tightened credit, even though a recession would, would make that spread come in. And so that's why we've been in such great shape. The stocks were hellaciously cheap. People didn't understand them. The spread was working against them as much as possible. No wonder they didn't have any optimism. Sure. But when they get what everyone in the industry has left over PTSD from 04 through 014. And so they're all worried about going in the tank again when it's hard to go in the tank when you've got all these people that need a house.